We're gonna do a mukbang. A mukbang. I think it's mukbang. But I think it, it may be mukbang. I heard somebody say mukbang. Shit like that. I could throw dope at the crib. I keep the rest like a real. I'ma go pop me a pill. Like a screw, I'ma give her the drill. Yeah, she said she love my drill. If she bad, then I'm paying them bills. I put a cat on my lip. She give me chin like a beard. Boom, the fuck show up, verse, and I'm coming with that line, cause I'm thuggin' for real. Not too dead partners, I ain't even speak on, cause I'm trying to put a moment. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sleep On. I'm back with another video. And today I'm here with Paycheck, you dig, once again. If y'all ain't seen the last video about the chip, you need to go check that out, Jeremy. We did a review on the rap snacks and shit like that. Uh, it was a little lit video. It was her first video. I told her she was going to be in some uh, some future vlogs of mine. So, yeah, bro. Today we're going to do a video and talking about how we met. We're going to do a mukbang. A mukbang. I think it's mukbang. But I think it, it may be mukbang. I heard somebody say mukbang. Shit like that. But yeah, we had to go cop some Slims. You hear me? With the macaroni and cheese. I, I don't need you showing my shit. <laughs> I'll make some room. Before we even get into the video, you know what I'm saying, do you even remember how we met? Um, yeah, I know it's like a little, I don't know, you know, everybody has different views on how they met people, like how they met each other, you I know I don't see saying? how you got a different view than me on this damn. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember the first time I saw you but we didn't meet yeah but you were saying you was gonna meet me <laughs> I knew I will <laughs> sooner or later <laughs> so what were you even doing that day Shit. <laughs> I was at the house cooling. Cause really, I never forget. <laughs> this is the 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 full truth of how I met you. <laughs> I'm sitting at the crib. We got a kickback going on. Me and my brother CJ. Everybody left though by the time we came. Yeah. And my brother. Carmen's like, hey, I just met these two girls. I'm about to bring them to the crib. So I'm like, bad. <laughs> and as soon as y'all come through the door, <laughs> I knew Emily off top. So. But you were in the kitchen. You didn't see us come walking. Yeah, I did. Because when y'all came in, I came out the kitchen and looked around. Oh. And I seen Emily. I'm like, oh shit, what's up, Emily? La, la, la. I ain't seen you in a long time. And my brother was like, shit, you you know you know him? I said, no, I don't know her, but I know Emily. And shit, basically, just got to rapping a little bit. Everybody was chilling, smoking and shit. I don't smoke yet, so I'm just cool. Was I smoking? Yeah, you were smoking. I was. <laughs> Bomb as fuck. <laughs> so you smoking. Everybody smoking. Had some alcohol in now. Oh, I know. I was drinking. Yeah, people were sipping. So I'm sitting in, I'm sitting on the counter in the kitchen. And then you, you walked in there. And we just got to talk about random shit. And then you was like. I asked you what your name was. No. He was like, what's your name? And I was like, shit, my name's Sleepo. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, oh my gosh, Sleepo? I'm like, yeah. He was like, 
No. no. I was like, oh my gosh, you're asleep, bro. And he started smiling so hard. Like, oh. yeah, that is me. God, man, you really <laughs> down. So, I'm like, yeah. And he was like, he was like, I'm Vader. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, Vader. He was like, yeah. He was like, remember that day? He was on FaceTime with Breezy. And... <laughs> Uh, I was in the camera, and he was like, one day, I'm going to get you. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Hell, yeah, I remember me, because cause you left for a long ass time. Yeah. And then, you know, come back to town and shit like that. So, yeah, I went back home. And that's when, um, that's when I was like, I knew you off top. And then, shit. I never forget. Start kicking it and shit, chilling. Oh my gosh! And y'all, y'all used to come over there like every day. Yeah, and he thought I wanted his brother. And one day, everybody left me in the living room, and I was nervous to go up to his room. I was shaking. I was like, "Okay, just do it. Don't be a pussy." So I walked upstairs, went to his room. He's like. What 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 are you doing? <laughs> like, why are you up here? Yeah, cause yeah, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I was chilling in my own little zone. <laughs> I think I was watching uh, cartoons. Yeah, you're on your phone. And I always be what I always got the the cartoon going ham. No, you had a uh, wilding out going on. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's my other shit. If it's not cartoon, it's definitely gonna be wilding out. I'll never forget. <laughs> you came out there, we kicked it. We had a nice little, little heart to heart. Yeah, talking I about, remember that. Talking about <laughs> life and shit. And then, you know, a couple of days went by. And uh, I remember I'm, you left like, like maybe what, a week later. You left my house early in the morning. And then I get a call. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a collect call from Crawford County Detention oh Center. God. Would you press one to accept? I said, what? Crawford <laughs> County? Boom, I answer. It's her ass. <laughs> Stop. Can I was you, not crying. Can you come get me? Yes, she was crying. You was crying. I don't know what made me call you. I don't uh, I don't well, know how I you do. remember my number. I don't either. So. Oh, because um, they let me have my phone and like write down numbers really fast, and my phone was about to die. And then it died whenever I wrote down your number, and your number was like the only one I wrote down. And it died as soon as I wrote it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, shit, I ain't never had to bail nobody out of jail and shit like that. <laughs> So, I I hit up Emily, and if y'all don't know, Emily is her friend at this time. I hit up Emily. Friend. And Emily was like, do you want to go, do you want to go half with me to get, to get out of jail? I'm like, yeah, give me a minute, come, you know what I'm saying, let me wake up and come pick the money up. Was it that day? Or was it like a couple? Cause I stayed in there for a month. Yeah, but that that day that you called me that mm -hmm. morning was when I went and left my house. And I went to my other house, and that's when Emily met me in my other house. Oh. So Emily met me in my other house, and I gave her half of the bond to bond out. And well, <laughs> matter of fact, before. Well, Emily told me you had a bun, but really... I didn't. You didn't have no bun. Mm -mm. But me not knowing she didn't have a bun, right? So I gave Emily half of the money to get get out of jail. And as um, soon as I gave her the money, Emily like was like, block my number, all that shit. Deleted me on social media, and she ran out for my money. How much did you give her? Mm, you know, like... I think it was like almost five hundred. Mm. 
How much was my bond? Shit, your bond was hot in a motherfucker. <laughs> you was a flight risk. <laughs> How much was it? Mm-hmm. Like, you're the one that paid it. <laughs> no. I'm talking, no, I ain't at that part yet. Um. I'm still at Emily taking my money. <laughs> so, after that, after she ran off my money, I was broke as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, bro. I'm waiting on my job to pay me. I'm going to get paid to the next week. So I'm like, all right. So. And we don't, like, we barely knew each other, too, no, at that time. We knew like, each- he knew about me and, like, knew my whole life or whatever, but we had just met. Yeah, I knew about uh, four, five days, maybe. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> say, I'm going to put some money on my phone. When he was you... the only one to put money on my books to come see me. And every time he would come see me, all the girls in the jail would go sit on the stairs just to look <laughs> at him. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, he's so cute. Right, that was my first time doing any of that shit. <laughs> Putting money on people's book. Wouldn't it be early as fuck whenever you came? Hell yeah. I don't mm-hmm. wake up to like 2 p.m. I'm having to get up at 9 a.m. to be there for 10. For like a couple minutes of a FaceTime, basically. Mm-hmm. And I would never show my face. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm like, so, I'm sitting there putting money on my, um, her books, money on my phone. And, um, I was like, all right, I got to come up with a plan, bro, to get you out. <laughs> so, I was going to see you and shit. You and what? I was going to see you and shit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was, um, I don't know exactly. It was like a month later, right? Uh, I was like, I had a fashion show. <laughs> and... <laughs> I went to the fashion show. I did my fashion show. After my fashion show, well, she called me during my fashion show. I was like, look, call me at like 9 o'clock. I should be down. So she called me at 9. I remember waiting and waiting. Yeah, I'm sitting out, I'm sitting <laughs> outside, and I'm like, All right, she called me. I'm like, boom, I'm eating on, uh, I think I was eating on. Um, M&M's. I know M&M's for sure. I was eating on M&M's, and I think three musketeers. And I was drinking like, like some Mountain Dew. And I'm like, I'm gonna get you out tonight. And my, I'm just on the phone like, yeah, okay. Cause he said it last time and it never happened because Emily stole it. I was broke as fuck. <laughs> See, that bitch stole all my money. You know what I'm saying? That was but all I, didn't I had left. Know. So, I was just in jail, like, yeah, okay, whatever. A whole month later, I'm going, I'm visiting like two times a week, putting money on my phone, fuck, every other day or so. <laughs> so, finally, I was like, I was like, I'm going to get you out. I don't know how yet, <laughs> but I promise you're going to be out before the night. So, we talked for a while. My stomach started hurting. Because I was eating too many Skittles. I ain't eating no food that day. So I'm like, fuck. So I'm at home feeling. So after we got off the phone, stayed at the fashion show a little bit more. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm about to go home. So boom, I went home. And I'm laying in bed like, all right, how can I get this money to get out? So then I was like, okay, I got away. Got up, went made some plays, made some moves, got the money. All right, I hit up this Bell's bomb and called Arkansas first. What do you call him? Uh, Butterbean. <laughs> but Butterbean didn't didn't know it was me on the phone. When I called him, I was like, see, um, I need to talk to Butterbean. He got on the phone. I was like, hey, I need you to get somebody out of jail. Uh-huh. And he got to ask questions and shit. I was like, she from Louisiana. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, she got arrested for this. It and, wasn't even my fault. And he looked. He's like, I don't, ain't nothing I could do. She a flight risk. She she from got Louisiana address. She from Louisiana. She in Arkansas. I can't touch her. I said, fuck it. Hung up the phone. Because <laughs> I was like, shit, I don't need to hit no more. So I'm stressing now. <laughs> and then I get, the I get a phone call. I'm like, hello? He was like, hey, this sleeper? I'm like, yeah, who is this? He was like, this butter bean. I'm like, oh, what's that? I just talked to him. He was like, yeah, I know. He's like, if I would have knew this was sleepo, I would have I would have tried to help you. You know what I'm saying? A little more. Because he was like, I know your people. Like, every time your people, you know, go to jail or something, I know they good for it. I'm going to go get them. So he was like, I'm going to fuck with you. So, boom, he was like, the burn, her, he was like, her bond is, uh, I think your bond was like, like seven Seven something, and then he wanted a bun fee on top of it. So it was like the brain, yeah, damn, because like nobody was gonna touch you, so you know what I'm saying. So he was like, brain like 850 up to the jail, meet me at the jail right now. It's and like then. it's like three in the morning, like three or four in the morning. So I'm yeah. like, I bet. So boom, I immediately get up, got dressed, and by the time I get to jail, he outside waiting. So, come up, and, um... You needed two, I needed two signatures to get out. Yeah, and i never forget, I, I hit up, I hit up Sweet House, like, look, I need you to come with me up here and get somebody out of jail with me. <laughs> and she, she, she was like, bet. How far was she? She, she stayed, she stayed in Folsom Smith, but not like... Mad long, you know what I'm saying? She, she the truth yeah, for she, signing it. <laughs> yeah, and she she didn't even know you. Not, not but, even. But she came up there. She didn't even know my name, did she? Nope. <laughs> she came up there, signed for you, and she was like, um, she was like, all right, that's all you need. I'm like, yeah. So she she left. So yeah, because I remember them waking me up, and I saw Butterbean, you, and the girl Sweets signing. And I was waiting to get all my stuff to get dressed. And I remember getting dressed, no, signing something, signing my bond, and then getting my clothes on that I wore in the jail. And so, I was, like, looking at myself, and I was like, oh, my God, he's about to see me with no makeup. I smell like I've been in jail. I was nervous as fuck, and I couldn't believe that whenever they were, like... That's what I was about to say. What was your thought? <laughs> You, it's, it's three in the morning, everybody's asleep. And yeah, know, and they open my, uh, my little pod. Door. That's, I think they call them pods or yeah. something. And they open it and they're like, they call my last name and they're like, please come down, uh, get all your stuff, all your belongings, you're bailing out. You're and I, home. and I woke up, I was like, are you for real? She's like, yeah, you're bailing out. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I got all my, I, like, hurried up and got all my stuff. And I was sharing, like, you know the, uh, what are they called? Pad things that you sleep on? No. The mats. Me and this uh, one girl were putting them on top to make it the bed comfy. And so she would sleep one way and I would sleep the other. <laughs> yeah, y'all slept on the same way? <laughs> Shit, <man. laughs> Cause it was like it was hard just having one, so um, I got all my stuff. I got my mat and I said bye to her and I was like, I hope you get out or whatever, cause she had just came in, and uh, all the other girls were like looking through the little hole and was like bye, <laughs> and I was like peace out. There was a lot of meth heads in there. Oh my god, there was this one girl. Um, she had like bed bug thing like holes like, like bed bug like but she would pick uh, at them fuck no. all over her stomach it was just her stomach and her legs and then um i remember these girls were like um they had this book that they uh give girls and it like had a list on how to make meth <laughs> on how to cook it what? <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck? And so, oh yeah. Anyways, I got all my stuff, went down, and like, 
I was telling the officer, I was like, can we, like, walk faster? And, like, I threw my mat down. She was like, okay, come on, come on, come on. And then I remember, like, um, I think I, I wrote your name on something. And um, I got my stuff, went to the bathroom, got dressed. And uh, the officers were, like, flirting with me. And I was like, okay, well, look, I'm about to go. And, ew, this is off subject, but I remember, like, taking a shower in the jail, and, like, the officer, the guy officers would be looking up there and just, like, staring. I'm like, ugh, it was horrible. Anyways, I got dressed, put on my fucking uh, crop top and leggings and my slides. (laughs) That was all I had put it on I looked my I looked in the mirror and I was like all right barely even no sleepo but been talking to him he's about to see me with no makeup I'm fresh out of jail I need some deodorant I was like I was preparing myself I was like fuck and I just I couldn't believe that he actually really bailed me out I don't know I was just happy to be out but I was nervous to be out, too, because I don't know where the fuck I was going to do. Didn't know where I was going to go. Because keep in mind, <laughs> she didn't she didn't know nobody but Emily. Yeah, nobody. Emily was her only friend. The and, only person out here, like, that I knew. And Emily, nobody even knew I was in jail in Louisiana. Like, oh. I didn't have close people to me like that. And Emily ran off with my money. Ran off with my car. Her car, your clothes. clothes. Social, birth certificate, everything that I owned, she ran off with it. Hell yeah. So when I got out. <laughs> we went straight to, no, you um, you was like, paycheck, you out. <laughs> and then I was like doing this because I stunk. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then we went to Walmart. I was like, look, I need some deodorant. He was like, get whatever you need. I was like, damn, you got it like that? Oh, hell no. Damn. You not broke me once, you broke me twice. (laughs) But, shit, got all the shit she needed. I, um... Went to the cat house. Yeah, went went to my my house where I had my brother. Oh, and I remember, no, we went to the bank, I think, because I remember the song was stuck in my head, and I told you to play it, and I was trying to unlock my phone, and it wouldn't freaking unlock, because I forgot the password. What even happened to that phone? Um, it wasn't my charger. Oh. Um, I thought you got it out. <laughs> Somebody probably took it. Somebody it. <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> I ain't gonna never get into it. No, because <laughs> I couldn't even get into it. <clears throat> like, I remembered the password and everything. I don't know. I guess it was dead for too long. Maybe. So, I was basically like, how we met. <clears throat> and, <laughs> the, we just grind from then up to now. And shit, now we living great. Living good as fuck. <clears throat> Hella cars. That's crazy. Hella cribs. I came out with 72 cents. <laughs> yeah. That, that's what was in her bank account. 72 cents. And the bank lady's wrong for that because he was sitting right there. And this girl just blurs out what the fuck I have in my bank account. She's like, Dang, you only got 72 cents. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like... <laughs> see. 72 cents? Oh, my God. Hell no. That's it. It was up from now. It was. But... What's, what's like, one of the... Weirdest stories you heard in jail? Mm. Um, there's a lot. I felt bad mm. for like this one girl, the one girl that I shared a mat with. No. Um, basically, there's bunk beds 
but our pod was too full like every girl pod was too full so she had to sleep on the floor and i felt bad but <laughs> she's like the short like five foot tall girl with long blonde hair she tried fighting an officer <laughs> what? About to get on the officer. yeah she did she was barred out she was um robbing Bart. Zanny out, Xanax out. Yeah, you know I'm saying she got boys in jail, or she no, came, she came in there. Yeah, out. this is how she got into jail. Oh, she was robbing a dollar store. <laughs> she said she didn't mean to because she was barred out, but Pee then she head. tried to fight an officer. You stupid. And basically, she got locked up. Oh. Her boyfriend had just overdosed on heroin, he, and she found him. He died? Yeah. Oh, shit. And she had a son, and I felt bad for her. You had any friends in there? Uh, that was the only girl that I talked to. I learned how to play uh, cards in there. <laughs> That's every jail game. <laughs> <laughs> Card game. And for y'all chips, was it like cut up cards? What do you mean? Like, you know, like if you got a pot of like tokens at the casino. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in jail, when I was in Sebastian County, they uh, take cards and cut them up and them like your chips. <laughs> you, put, you put it in the middle. No. The jail I went to was the new one. In Van Buren, they had just built it, and they were like, "You, you better be lucky that they just built this, cause the other one was trash, and all the guards were nice." And then, oh, this one officer, um, he was like on the intercom, and he was like, basically like, "Oh, where's Hammond, Louisiana?" At? Like in front of everybody, and then. I'm like, obviously it's in Louisiana, like what the fuck? And uh whenever I left, he was like, So, um, are you gonna call me, text me? And I was like, What the fuck? <laughs> no. The guard said it? Mm-hmm. I remember being at cold it was cold outside whenever I got out. There we go. <clears throat> I was good, but, man, that was a crazy ass good experience. I I still can't believe you did it. Like, we barely even knew each other. Every time I think about it, I'm just like, damn. Like, <clears throat> what was my purpose of even calling you? And it's <clears throat> crazy how you're the only number that I had the chance to write down. I don't know. I'm your guardian angel. <laughs> God told me watch over you. <laughs> and he, you have. <laughs> he picked me. I can't argue with God. He, he the goat. Greatest of all time. So, wait. I told you to look at those. No, I'm talking about that. Look like a GTR in the drive through. Yeah, they just passed. <laughs> but yeah, bro. I know that was a time. Something that's all the way out of my means. I ain't never met nobody on that type of scale. Like not knowing them and then going that far to like help them and shit. That's I actually that's, used their last paycheck shit. to bail me out. Bro, I was broke. So I used all the money I had, bro. <laughs> that was all the money I had left. Is that why you call me Patrick? <laughs> nah. I start calling you Paycheck. I start, and you, and you know what's crazy? Hmm. I start calling you Paycheck when you went to jail. I know. Like, I never called you that before jail. But your name, Peyton. And. I never. You, so I. I, I I used Peyton and then I took the payout and then 
Put a you, check. You was always about a check. So and then a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was like it went. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know what made me just want to think of that, but... What even made you think about bailing me out? Like, what made you, like, get on the mission, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bail her out. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I don't. Like, I don't know. Like I said, God just picked me. So, yeah, that was it for today's video, bro. I hope I didn't bore y'all. That was, I'm talking <laughs> about the story was crazy, bro, like... I could have got a little more deeper, but I, I could have told, like, a couple hours of <laughs> how we met, bro. But that was basically, like, the whole, like, wrap-up of, of everything. Uh, bro, trust me. Been through some shit, bro. A lot. Been through some shit. We were kind of everywhere in the story, but you kind of get the gist of it. Yeah, so... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got more mukbangs on the way. Um, I'm actually shooting another mukbang with my nigga DP, I think, in like two days. I got to shoot one with cocaine, which y'all going to know who cocaine is. She just had surgery today. Prayers to her. Um... And we got some more videos coming soon, bro. We're going to stay active all summer long. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. That's I try to pressure that so much to make sure y'all know how, how, you know, how fucking, fucking, what's the word for it? Really, nigga? How appreciative I am. You know what I'm saying? For y'all subscribing to the kid, bro. Turn your notifications on. Yeah, don't forget the notification. Rape that like button. Rape that bell. Yep. Drop a comment. Um, Follow me on Instagram at babypay17 underscore. Yeah, and I'm also going to drop uh, a link below where you can click it and go to her IG and subscribe to her. And yeah, bro, we litty. Sleep Nation forever. Forever. Hard cold, I can't feel. I got demons in my ear. I fuck with these rappers, they weird. I just shot something for real.